WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, February the 22nd, TFNN, 11 o'clock, Tyke Financial News and Network, market update, and here we go, the Dow is trading down 286, 286 after an attempt at a rally smashed by Home Depot sliding sharply, that really just did it with Boeing. I just canceled out any positivity. The S&P actually had gone positive, but the Dow could not do that. This is the dreaded H pattern I've been talking about. I don't like this at all. If at the end of the, coming into the 2.33 o'clock time frame, if the VIX index, which is trading at 20.34, starts to get into the 31 area or high, 32.05 was the high today. Um, let me just double check if it's still there where it is right now. Yeah, 32.04 was the high, which is the same as it was just five, six sessions ago. If it can break above that, wow, then you got to watch out for that last hour. This is where the, that rolling over of the dreaded H, the lowercase H pattern starts to accelerate towards that left side low. So this is a day you want to see some kind of a bounce, just at least a, a harbinger of internal strength, still residual strength, let's say. But we haven't seen it yet. We did see it in the S&P a little bit. It's down 20 at 43.28. Also making that H formation, but the QQQ showed strength. It's now failing. It's down a dollar at fourteen at three forty point thirty seven. It ran all the way to three forty four, and that's the fear that I've got that uh, that buyers just can't hold anything because sellers come in and they just predominate. And this H pattern starts that acceleration down towards 334.15, the left side low of the 24th. IWM is also lagging. And what's really important here is that gold is holding pretty well when you think about the move that it's had. It's just unchanged at 1899. I think it's it's in play, but it hasn't broken out. It'll break out as soon as it gets, if it does, it gets to the 1920s. That's a big breakout in the monthly chart. So far, it's in a big consolidation rectangle formation at the upper end in play because uh, it's the, the fear factor is gold. Gold is, for me, the icon of um, fear. So let's just go to this crude oil. Crude oil is acting quite well here, although I think it's just on a shorter term basis. It could have a little bit of a pullback. It's at 80, 91, 95. Oh, it could pull back to the um, to the 87, maybe even 85 area. But that weekly chart says, wow, this is in play for geopolitical reasons. And if you're looking at the TLT, wow, it's trying to rally and it can't. It's down 33 cents. The yields are moving higher. Have a great day. Stay tuned for Larry Pesavento and great programming for the rest of the day. I'll be back The reality is that navigating financial markets 